This campaign is uh, in line with the International Day for Family Planning and uh, Reproductive Health in general. We aimed at uh, reaching bigger communities in this country, which is uh, especially adolescents, which is uh, usually a neglected group, whereby uh, they don't have access to this knowledge. They don't get it in the clinics and they don't get it at home. So. We plan to reach uh, adolescents, university students, which is my family, my workplace, my... Okay, reproductive health, what I know, maybe starting for me personally, uh, it's, uh, it's the way we youth and everyone else which regards as a human, the way he or she has to behave regarding to the reproductive system or anything which, which gets to be basing on sex and every life of a human. But also we expanded it. Uh, when we started a little bit at the university, the need was so big that the people started asking for going out. So we expanded our outreach campaigns to the neighboring areas where Universal Rwanda is operating. So we had to go to communities around Huye and Rwamagana and then Kigali to reach the communities to cover the unmet need in uh, reproductive health and family planning in general. Babishaka itewe nabaturage n'imyumvire y'ubumenyi sanzwe ariko binyana politiki ya leta imyumvire igenda izamuka gahoro gahoro ni nyigisho tugenda dutanga abaturage tubumvisha byiza byo koneza urubyaro ndetse nibibi byo kuda kutaboneza urubyaro usanga babyara abana benshi batabasha kurera bikabatera ubukene abana ni babasha kujya mu ishuri nibindi byose bituma abana badindira n'imiryango ikabaho nabi Kuna zuri biaro basanzwe wabijumba alama bikora hariko na abgo ubita bire mukunze kujaya zuri chani kuko bija bika la kuko alama na bajama ba kafamo ba ba bgi ngo ngo biza ba jiri na ingaru karu na hariko tu kome zaku bijiisha kujira ngo bumbwe ibji zabija abio kai no ba ya jizi chiva zoe kuyegi la muga anga kwa mufasha ma kwa muhinduri la na metod. abaturage twese ntago twumva kimwe hari abakitsimbarayeho yavuga ati kuboneza urubyaro bamwe bavuga ko bitera ibibyimba abandi bati umuntu ntago nyine abagabo ntago badamu bakora imibonano mpuza bitina neza Iyo turi mu mugoro aba babyeyi usanga ababyeyi bagerageza kubyumva imbogamizi tugifite nuko abagabo batawitabira Ko abagabo bana uburyo bwo kuboneza ubakorwa ingira ngo uburyo bwa nibukenya nta buryo bwishi buhare basanga rero bituma abantu batabikunda kuko iyo habaye bwishi nka kubwo bagira abagore bagira bagira yenda hajyaga kuba umuhitamo ariko ku buryo ari bukeya bituma abantu batabamwe tubatabyiyumbaho cyane Ni ngire abagabo ku bujyanye no kubona zuru byaro ku bagabo kuko gahunda yabo yabaye yo kubona zuru byaro ku kwifundisha gahunda ntabwo babyakire neza ko umuntu ahita yumva avuga ngo bwo baradukorenye niki ariko bake barabikoze muri uyu murenge wacu
When we go to the communities, we reach to the parents. We break down the messages and make sure they know the consequences of them not talking about it. We are telling them this is the life, this is the future of this uh, generation. So what we tell the parents, the adult, is to talk about it. It has nothing to, to uh, increase uh, or make people get indulged in sexual behavior. We are telling them about reproductive health. So we are engaging families and communities and talk about it. And that is our aim and uh, telling people this is their right and these are services that are available and they should have access to them. Ah, na ba kwa boga tu ragani ra chane. Limu na limu ni tu jira na mahiru ya kuachira wanu huko ngo kuko ababadu suye, ba kaza ba kavije shakuvija nye, nubu simavuga wao ba kavije shakuvija nye, na kuirindi ndazi tatego we, dete na atukubga chuo tu ravije ra tu kaga ni ra uje zichwa za kaza katubgi ra tinge zichwa zolo na katu kamu fasha, tu kajira ni chumba chumu kwa boga na chuo jifasha mu kwa boga mjehe. Ajeze mo jeje chuo kwezi, abakau gatu la wejera chana na chuo zao bafiti. Tuka sana zero, kuinga ni zuri zaro, nuzi magumu, nuhugira ngo muzi, nuna na bosi wa kurenezi, bosi wa meri kurenezi, kukuunga na akuye kuzi wa mitegori, kana kaza huu mshaki, mshaki kuzara wa na chumi. Ukabi teguri lukasha ukabzi arachum muga wa kaza wa biteguri. So the most reason why I think that it's most important is because it's the normal life or it's a it's a routine which everyone has to pass through. So mostly regarding to the statistics and the proof they've got to show us there in front, it was proving that a lot of people are failing because they didn't get to know about that. And mostly for those who knew about it, they never get to know aware of how they can treat it afterwards when it happened. So the reason why we have to mostly know about this is because it's something we are going through and it's something we are getting to pass along the way. So it's better that we cannot eat before it happens. But you can see that there is a perception that family planning is for women. Even if when we try to approach these men to explain, they were laughing at us. They said, no, 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 this is for women. Just uh, we are bringing our women. So there's that perception. And I think um, it should not be like that. Because family planning is for the families, for men and, and women. So they should understand, they should sit together, discuss, understand, uh, have the same common. And we have some method for men also. You know, there are some methods for, for men, so they should be involved. The rationale is to explain to people that, and that they know, because in the practice, people, they know that having so many children yeah. in a short period, yeah. it's very tiring and yeah. very complicated. So what I've been taking from the lessons I've been given, firstly, is the proof they've got to show about students who are dropping the school because of the pregnancy. Actually, I, was, I didn't know that that was the real number that 17,000 of girls are, get, are dropping from the school just because of pregnancy. For me, just I thought that it was maybe like 200 or some less. But due to that fact of the, a lot of number of students or girls who are dropping from school, it's a huge number yet regarding to the population of the country and from that point I think that what can be mostly done starting for me it's how we can get to look back and we see the, all the strength the country is putting on us and remind about it rather than to engage that because it's something maybe which can be taken afterwards life or within the right time not anywhere at, 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 not at any time, just within the right time that can need be done. And if there is no abstinence at the moment, there are some other methods which can be used. So, in your video, you can see the video. You can see the video. You can see the Haja nyine nkuko baba batubwiye bati haja abaganga b'inzobere nyine tuba tuzi ko tugiye gufashwa noneho nabantu 
babyize burundu atari bya bindi byo kuvuga ngo Dorotea wacu ku murenge wo tumenyereye Dorotea bwo ngo bwo haje abamusumbye niyo mpamvu ubona ko haba habaye ubwitabire nk'abajyana ama w'ubuzima bwo barabibamenyesheje n'ubuyobozi bwa kagari biba ngombwa ko begera abaturage abaturage bitabiriye kuza kubera ko bazi ko bagiye guhura noneho nababandi bagiye kubasobanurira byimbitse ibyuko kwa kuboneza urubyaro batagira imbogamizi zuko baba bafite ubwoba bwuko nzagasamiraho hari nabavuga ngo nasamiye kurushinge ari kubwiye yo yashye ni yagatewe nuri ya waje agenda wa yiyumva ko niyo yasami ndayi yumva ko wa wundi wari ukomeye waje winzobere ari we wari umufiti yakamara ubwambere ho kubona abaturage bavyumvira ko bashatse birumvikana uko sibyo bitse nico gituma kaminuza ihereye ku banyishuri bayo babanze bumve icyaricyo bareke mu bita biases hariho umuturage azaka kubwira ati nkurira mu nkurira mu uwo duturanye kara mwishi ibyo rero bikeneye ku kubanza kubikangurira abantu kwerekana ukuri aho kuri bada icyo bita evidence based medicine ukuri nukuhe kaminuza rero kigejwe kuko kaminuza n'uko nukwerekana ibintu ko biri using medical information which are medic eh, evidence based atari ibyo mugenzi yanje yabwiye ki wo duturane ngiye ki wo tuvukana yabwiye ki no we need there are evidence based icyo nico kaminuza kigejwe One of the greatest tools we can use basically goes with tackling understanding and mindset within the people. Because uh, any other, uh, any other um, measure would come as an assistance to uh, proving this mindset uh, within the people. For example, when you go to rural areas, they're like, uh, the only goal of vision that girl has is to simply get married and find a good husband. The, the mindset in regards to education, in regards to what they should do, even when you find those who are in education, they're just there because it's a push, it's not an intrinsic motivation that comes from them. Considering Pausi where we were coming from and where we are now with uh, Pausi religious leaders, so now uh, the Minister of Faith is approaching them and uh, discussing with them um, and uh, perhaps uh, now the situation is religious leaders accept <coughs> that family planning is a, a good program which can uh, perhaps contribute to, to speed up the development. Right. And uh, also to um, very supportive, uh, supporting the, the, the implementation of the, that program. And uh, what perhaps uh, is there is perhaps some of them are not allowed to provide the full range of full contraceptives. So it's really crucial that we get the proper mindset regarding our reproductive health and it would be great if this type of reproductive health would be linked with people knowing what they should do and where they should study and how they can be a contributive member of society. Um, uh, and again coming back to that question, um, what should be done, yes, is talking about or trying to teach people about reproductive health but with the name of changing a mindset, with the name of creating a proper a Rwandan citizen with the name of creating a self-motivated person who is able to control his ethics, uh, ethics and his way of living and values uh, in aims of reaching greater heights and you know building and contributing to the vision of the country yeah we are seeing now a big need uh, from the population where we went but also from my medical students who saw the need and they are enthusiastic to continue the campaign. And because they know they can now be helpful, they saw what they did, they, they, they saw the need in the communities, and uh, we saw how the community is demanding it and how they want to, to con uh, really now uh, claim for it. So I think in, in, in the coming years, we will reach very far. We are going to expand our campaigns, we are going to reach more people using University of Rwanda staff and students.